the second sword in Puerto, yeah, supposed to be pretty big. This one, the locals, they were talking. They had hope that this one was going to be the one. So, I mean, we booked our flights and, you know, began the travel trek. Puerto Escondido is that's one of the most beautiful beach towns I've ever seen in my life. It's just an amazing, bright place with a bunch of beautiful sand and beautiful people. You have a lot of cultures in this town, you know, arriving, very international. The culture is very, uh, it's very Mexican, you know, very chill out. It's like fishing and, and it's also surfing, so the, most of the people now is Australians, Hawaiians, Americans, they come because of the waves, you know. As a place, it's developed so much. Five years ago, there really weren't even paved roads. And so now it's more of a tourist attraction. So there's a lot more people coming. It's the lifestyle. And you can like go out and have good food, party, whatever you want. Our first day we got there, it was, um, the swell was just starting to fill in. It was coming in really slow. The further the, the swell travels, the longer it takes to fill in. We were super hyper, you know, because we knew it was going to be big this time. We had all the crew and everyone. It was a good warm-up day for them to set up all the cameras. Edwin Morales, he's the man down in Puerto Escondido. He's like a super talented photographer and he's a local from there. So he really knows when it's going to be big and, and good. So. He's the one actually that we always call and trying to contact. Someone who I always stay with, um, him and his family are really close to me and he's been taking care of me the last few years. Babe, I'm way down here in a rolling fog, baby, please don't go. The swell report said it was going to be around 15 foot and Looks like the sets are just about that, so out there. One of the favorite places that we like to go there is the fish tacos, that's the name, and they have these creep tacos and this creep sauce that you put on it. They have like three different kinds and it's just yum. Puerto Escondido is incredibly shallow. I've heard of guys breaking their necks, breaking bones, just hit, hitting the sand. I mean, it, it is a sand bottom, but when you hit it, man, it feels like concrete. This wave is definitely the deadliest beach break in the world. Mavericks, Jaws, Dungeons in South Africa, all those waves are all just as deadly in their own way. The power of the waves, it comes from such a deep canyon right outside the break. That's why it comes in and with such strong velocity. And it penetrates right on the sand. And when you finish a wave, you know, and then you look up behind, you have four waves just as big as the one that you took and you get it in the head, pushes you down and out the back towards the next wave. So the chances of getting wipeouts and, and putting your life on danger, it's, it's like 90%, you know? Even when it's just like six feet, people are breaking their necks and being paralyzed. He broke his neck, our friend Noel drowned. Those weren't even the big days. My one of my best friends died. 
hit the, his head. We didn't find him for the last 20 minutes. And well, when they find him, it was, it was too late. When we woke up Friday, the swell had arrived, but the conditions weren't ideal. The winds were really, really bad. So we were kind of waiting around on the beach, hoping for it to get better. I didn't think it was going to get any better. But surprisingly, you know, we went and got a coffee and then came back and looked at it and the winds had switched. They started blowing light and it really started doing what it does and we all got fired up. We could see, you know, the more power on the, on the water in different direction and we could tell for sure and everybody else that it was going to be big this time. Friday was pretty big, just getting away from the head and there were a few good rides, Greg Long got a sick barrel, Nick got a sick one, I got a few close outs and for sure it was a good workout. At the end of a successful trip, Edwin always throws us a nice big party, a fiesta and you know he did it this time real solid, he did it big and we had fun you know, we had some food, had some drinks, just had a good time with you know family and friends and that's what it's all about. Surfing big waves, when you come back on land or after a really big session, it's like the volume's turned down on everything, so everything else is pretty dull, and um, you crave and want that feeling more and more. The rush you have is just, it lasts for so long, and you just feel like you're the man. The good thing about surfing is you always want to have another wave, you know? Even if you get a, a, like the best one, then you always want to go back and, and get a good wave.
that's neither here There's a waiting period for the event. To be an alternate, you have to be voted in by your peers. I just turn my camera off and it becomes human life. 